Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about full join in the SQL Server. To work with any kind of join in SQL or PLSQL, we need a minimum two tables. So in this example, so I'll be taking two tables as employee table and department table. First, let me explain you graphically how the full join is going to work. So if you see this, I have an employee table and department table. So employee table is a black circle, department table is a green circle. So then how my full join is going to work? So once I apply a full join between the two tables, first it is going to filter the common data between the two tables. So when I say common data, see this is the common data between employee table and department table. So once I get the full common data between two tables, then it goes for the left table. So then it gets the left table whatever the data which is left apart from the common so then i'll be getting the uh, left data so then it goes for the then it goes to the right table and search for it so if i have any uh, data which is there in the right table apart from the common data so then i'll be getting so it means that finally so i'll be getting the common data finally i'll be getting the common data means common rows plus the rows which are left in the left table and the rows which are left in the right table so this is the collection of the full join so let me show you how this um, full join is going to work practically in the sql server management studio so let me go there first if you see here so this is the employee table so which are of having six records so out of six records five records are tagged to the five employees are tagged to the department and the sixth employee is a new employee so which he does not tag to the any department okay now let me go to the department table if you see this department table so which are of having two columns and out of uh, four rows three departments are having the employees under that particular department but so i don't have a 40 40 is nothing but a support support department does not have any employees it means that support de uh, department does not uh, tie to any of the employees so now let me apply a full join so this is the data which i created for our full join example only now let me write a full join a query select so later i will write the column names select from emp alias name i am keeping as a e full join I, I need to use a full join keyword full join dept d on e dot dept number equal to E dot dept number okay so now let me write the list of columns which i am looking for it e dot so employee name comma e dot salary comma d dot department name let first i'll put e dot employee id id employee so these are all the columns i need as a result employee id employee employee name salary and department let me run the query so if I run the query, okay, let me put e, e dot employee. Okay, now let me run the query. You see this here. The first five rows are the common rows between the two tables. First common rows are first five rows are the common rows between the tables. So then I'll be getting so rows left in the left table plus rows left in the right table. Now if you go here, so that this is the one. First is a this is a 12th night uh, 12th employee 12 id employee is 12 nice so he does not tie to any of the department that is the reason why department name is null and if you go to the last row so this department is not tied to any of the employee that's the reason was employee columns are null but you have only department name for this uh, particular row and if you go to this row employee data is there but department name is null so this is how my full join is going to work thank you that's it